So good morning, I'm Pankaj Goyal. I'm co-founder and COO for Autonext Automation Private Limited. We are building this uh, electric and self-drive tractor. We have three models, uh, 20 HP, 35 HP and 45 HP. We are standing here in the farm with the 45 HP tractor which has uh, an equivalent of 45 HP motor, uh, which gives actually more than the 45 HP. We have a 38.4 kilowatt hour battery on this tractor, which gives a good uh, five to six acres of tilling in the day. It can give you the 10 to 12 hours of uh, water pumping. Uh, it can give you a good rotavator hour that is uh, very little or no vibration, uh, no, uh, no sound, uh, so it's much quieter, it's very nice for the environment. We are launching this uh, now, uh, the electric part of it, the self-drive is going to come in a year's time. We are very excited that we are coming with a solution which is going to give the farmers the edge on productivity as it consumes much less in terms of the, uh, for each hour uh, compared to a diesel tractor. It can be as less as one-fifth or maybe one-eighth of the running cost. And then the maintenance certainly is again much, much lower than a diesel tractor. No hassle of so many moving parts, no hassle of changing uh, uh, oil filter, the uh, engine oil, the air filter every now and then. Uh, so it's going to be a much more robust thing. Electric motors are more tuned for high torque application because then you get higher torque at much lower RPM uh, so the wheel doesn't spin when you need that power in a muddy or a not such a flat area. So for a tractor application uh, the electric motor certainly beats the diesel or the uh, petrol or its ICE counterpart. So we're very excited to bring this to India. This tractor which is 45 HP for us is actually working equivalent to 55 uh, for sure 50 HP of diesel. It has uh, done the job of baler which 55 HP tractor was doing. It has pulled 18 tons of uh, load which heavier tractors were not able to do alone on the soft soil. There were two tractors which were required to be pulled. Um, it has the lifting capacity of uh, close to two tons on the hydraulic lift behind. It has uh, the same 8 plus 2 transmission. Uh, it has the PTO double speed. It, can, it has uh, the battery backup of 38.4 uh, kilowatt hour, which can do the job for eight hours for most of the applications, maybe heavier, a little less. Uh, it charges uh, overnight in six to eight hours, uh, and the charging is very simple. We certainly would be providing the options for uh, supporting it uh, for financing the tractor. Uh, we are in discussion and uh, this is going to be certainly be supported by the financial partners that Autonext is going to have. So we have uh, a fully loaded tractor here. We have the digital instrument panel which uh, gives you the, the percentage of the battery, the kilowatt hour that is being consumed, the number of hours that the tractor has totally done and uh, all the other features of a typical instrument cluster. Uh, we have uh, the complete combi switch here, which can do the job of uh, all the indicators, headlight, uh, horn, etc. We have the charging point here, which will come where you put directly the AC power in with the gun that we have. We'll show you the charging later. And uh, the, the onboard charger on the tractor takes care of the charging. So you, need a, you don't need a separate charger other than what you have on the tractor. Uh, we have... Uh, the normal uh, brakes, the split brakes for left and right, where uh, you can use it alternatively. You have the parking brake, you have the regular clutch, so it's easy to use for regular tractor driver. It is not a lot of training, um, although the behavior of an electric tractor is a little different, so you, get, you have to get used to. So it has got these uh, eight forward with the four gears here on forward and one reverse. And this is the low and high, like a regular tractor. It has the um, lift position with the draft control, both of them. And uh, we have the PTO shaft on this side, so to engage the PTO with two speeds. So as we are launching this tractor, we are ready to take the dealers on board. It's uh, 
very attractive model for dealers. Uh, we believe that our dealers would be making more than what uh, on a diesel tractor they make. Of course, the reason is that this tractor is costing more than a diesel tractor, but also we want them to make on percentage as well. To set up a dealership uh, in a small town, it is uh, going to be needing 20-25 lakh of investment upfront, plus then uh, the couple of tractors that they will have to buy. Uh, that 20-25 lakh goes in the, the showroom, the spare parts, uh, the service setup, and also a bit of the charging infrastructure that they're going to need. So the dealership typically is going to require a showroom area, which should be uh, 1,000 to 2,000 square foot, and then the service area behind plus the place to park uh, the tractors for charging. Our dealership is going to be a little bit different. So we believe that with our app, the tractor can be deployed for leasing from day one. So the dealers don't have to wait for the customers while the tractor sits or the investment sits at the showroom. They can start to deploy that, give the experience to the uh, customers, let them understand and see for themselves or experience for themselves how powerful the tractor is and how uh, economical it is compared to another diesel counterpart. And then grab the orders and basically build the, uh, build the sales. So for dealership, our model is uh, uh, district wise, and then we will divide that into the seals. So a distributor is able to take care of the traction in a particular area and then uh, maintain uh, a good push in the whole area being responsible for promoting the tractor in that area, ensuring that the customers are happy in that area. So we will be supporting our distributors back to back. We want to go very, you know, in tandem, in a very close partnership with our distributors and uh, support them to do a good job on the, on the field. So we will give them an area and it will be their area and uh, there is going to be no overlap. So the tractor is, uh, the battery is the major part of the tractor here, which is uh, very easily accessible but then you don't need to access it so once you close this hood you don't have to go inside the hood um, maybe for a long time so we can swap the battery also we can swap the battery so there's a panel that comes out so then you can take out the modules and put the new modules uh, very easily otherwise this battery is a little heavy um, so to change in the rural setting where you don't have equipment you can empty the box and then change the entire uh, enclosure oh. the big battery also what's the weight of this battery so each module is about 30 plus kilos uh, then total weight would be in the range of 350 uh, plus kilos which is also helping in performance of the tractor so we the, the tractor doesn't lift uh, from the front you don't need the extra weight on the front uh, and it's working very very well the battery is um, a maintenance free battery so it's a hermetically sealed uh, IP67, good for 10 years uh, once you pack it in. So yes, this tractor is ready for uh, wetland. Uh, we have done the trials in the paddy field where one foot of water, the tractor is dipped inside and then working and uh, absolutely no problem. Our systems are IP67 uh, and there is no issue. We can wash the tractor, uh, no issues with any of that. We can run the tractor in heavy rains absolutely no issues. When it comes to colors, uh, tractor is a very interesting market. There are regions which are really going for blue, some for red, uh, also green. So at this point of time, we keep open as per the customer request. We can provide the tractor in red, blue or green color. So the battery uh, that we have taken for this tractor is really the right one for the rough and uh, very rugged usage for application like tractor. It's lithium ferrite phosphate battery. The life of this battery, as we uh, imagine, it is uh, 3000 uh, cycle. So if you have 300 char uh, charging and recharging a year, it is gonna last you 10 years uh, with uh, good retention, where still the battery would be sellable for ESS energy storage or some other kind of applications. So it's not that after 10 years, the battery is waste, we can still fetch 30% of its value or uh, worse 25% of its value after these eight years. Compared to a diesel tractor, an electric tractor would be much more cost effective on maintenance. There is no uh, oil filter, the engine oil, the air filter change every 
few hundred hours as a normal tractor would. This one um, has no uh, consumable parts other than the gear oil. So uh, we believe that it's going to be not more than seven to 10,000 rupees a year or less. It's just a conservative number. While a, a heavy running diesel tractor would take anything from 20 or plus thousand rupees on maintenance in a year. A lot of people are asking us how easy it is to charge the tractor without any infrastructure. So this is how it is. You just get this connection in your house. You have a simple gun that is connected which comes along with the tractor. And we have the onboard charger with this charging port which can also be compatible with CCS2. You just put the gun here and we just switch on the MCB and that's it. The tractor is starting to get charged. So with a power connection at home, you can charge the tractor overnight, six to seven hours. If you have a fast charger and this is CCS2 compliant, you can charge it in two hours on a 20 kilowatt charger. You can charge it in less than an hour on a 50 kilowatt charger and on a 70 kilowatt charger literally 30 minutes or so you can charge it. Now does it damage the battery fast charging? Yes if done too much. So the overnight charging is the more advised one where the active control system the battery management system is able to balance and charge the cells towards the last 15 or 20 percent more slowly and balances it well. So the charging port that is given here is CCS2. For giving a CCS2 compliance, it costs a little more, but with the CCS2 compliant, this uh, tractor can be charged on any charging station uh, with the CCS2 facility, which is most of the charging stations. Nexon, BYD, uh, your MG, all of these cars come with a CCS2 charging port. It is standard across the industry. The, the tractor comes with the onboard charger. Only additional thing that you need is this gun and the wire which comes along with the tractor. So we talk about solar, certainly it's a, a very green source of energy. Uh, if you have the infrastructure where we can provide enough kilowatt hour and the voltage for charging of the tractor, it certainly can be charged with solar panel setup uh, where we have an inverter. It is giving us that 220 volt uh, which we can put uh, for charging certainly. So the uh, voltage uh, system that is required for charging is a regular 220 volt. We are using a 30 amperes line so this cable is capable of handling that uh, and then it is charging overnight. So it's a single phase 220 volt system with power cable to charge it at home overnight. The question of Usage, usage of rotavator and heavy applications, what impact will it have on the battery life? The battery is designed for heavy load. The whole tractor is designed for heavy load and traction. So the battery life is designed to meet those load requirements and it is for us rotavator is a standard application. Uh, so the battery life remains 8 to 10 years even with the use of those kinds of applications. For applications, because tractor is useless without the appli uh, appliances behind, whether it is the tiller, rotavator, harrows, uh, spraying machines, or all the other balers, other kind of equipment, we have made our uh, attachment system in such a way that it addresses or it, it is able to take all the different uh, attachments which are available in the market. So it's a universal type system, and uh, majority of the attachments will work with our tractor. So the tractor here is being used to pump the water. So there's a regular water pump which can be attached to the power takeout shaft PTO and we are pumping the water quite long far up. So it's a quite a powerful uh, water pump and it's a universal kind of an attachment as you can see and uh, the, the, the tractor is pumping the water quite further up. As you can see the it's a six inch uh, pump and it is pumping the water with all six inches. So it's full and it's pumping the water all the way up to the next farm which is at a higher altitude. We are doing the plowing on unplowed land where this one is little harder than normal because it's not been uh, plowed for a long time. The grass has already come. 
which is the roots catch it. So this uh, land is even harder than the normal farming condition. So we also have the app where the tractor location uh, can be mapped, of course, monitored. Uh, the battery uh, percentage, uh, the other parameters, what is the temperature uh, of the battery, the motor. It can also be used by the renter guys to uh, put it out like Uber. So the app has functionality for other people to book that tractor. And uh, I can show you the app here. It is, uh, so it goes like this. So the cost of the tractor uh, is uh, without subsidy, 14.5 lakhs for 45 HP, uh, about little over 11 lakhs depending on which state for 35 HP and uh, 7 for 20 HP. Autonext is a futuristic company. We have conceived of electric tractor back in 2016-17, electric autonomous. Our first release is electric tractor, a powerful one, which is able to address all the tractor requirements or the tractor functions. The next uh, one year, we are going to release our autonomous self-drive tractor, which will have the capacity to do everything that our manual tractor does. The same, this tractor would be upgradable to autonomous with just few sensory and actuator suits and the controller equipments which this one is ready to accept. So, so the same tractor can be adapted. Going forward, first we launch this EV tractor in India, step by step. We take state by state. So we're taking first the 12 uh, states which are agriculture heavy in India, where the tractor population is the highest. We start to take the additional requests which are getting from other countries, which is some of the uh, high cost countries where autonomous can be very interesting to reduce the, uh, the expense for driver and for handling overnight or odd hour tractoring. Uh, we'll be addressing those countries and then we have a lot of interest coming from other countries that we will start to address subsequent to our uh, fulfilling the Indian market, uh, you know, geographic coverage. It's very exciting to uh, uh, introduce this tractor to the country. We are starting our pre-booking. Uh, it is soon going to be available in the market. So you're mo most welcome to come on our website and start booking the tractor. Looking forward to connecting with you all soon. Thank you very much. For more details about AutoNext electric tractor, kindly visit Country Farms website. Link is given in i button and description box.